Hello from HB Gadget Hacks. Today I'm going to be running some benchmarks on Cyanogen Mod 7. Point, or, well, 7.0 Release Candidate 3 running on a T-Mobile G2 also known as HTC Vision or Desire Z. Uh, it is a Android 2.3.3 based ROM and uh, I'm running set CPU set to 1.5 I usually run 1.2 overclocked on my standard running my stock ROM. I'm running an overclock kernel, so. But I have this one uh, overclocked to 1.5, which is on the kernel that comes with Cyanogen Mod. I don't have any profile set, and I do have it set for performance, as you can see. So let's run some quick benchmarks here. I had great benchmarks. going to run Quadrant Standard first. Seems to be everybody's favorite. Uh, I did have some great benchmarks on release candidate 1 and quite a bit lower on release candidate 2. They were more like my 1.2 on my stock ROM. Um, and I had some people mention that in the video I was running live wallpapers. But in both videos I'm running live wallpapers. I always run live wallpapers just about. So when I do my benchmark videos, always keep that in mind. I do run live wallpapers. You can get slightly better if you don't run live wallpapers but in my experience not enough to make a difference so sorry if that offends anybody it's just my preference I like to run them so if I want to get benchmarks I want to get benchmarks while I'm running them because for me that's my realistic benchmarks okay let's see our results here pretty good we're running at 2278 that's pretty good I've seen better that's that's back up to where it should be though. Uh, I just installed this ROM, run some limp packs, but I have let it set for a while and I let everything update and I've been through a few restarts. So everything should be settled. 52.33, that's excellent. 54.156. 53.843, excuse me. That's good quadrant or limp pack scores, I'm sorry. Uh, also, let's run Smart Bench. Oh, sorry, let me go back and clear everything. I don't want to be fair. Uh, after Smart Bench, I'm going to run some graphic GPU benchmarks. So if you're not interested in those, it'd be a good time to stop watching my video. <laughs> uh, this is Smart Bench 2011. I believe when I did the original release candidate, I was running Smart Bench 2010. So the scores will seem lower even if they're not because they changed their baseline for judging uh, benchmark scores. So let's see what this comes out as. They look quite a bit lower now, but they're really nice. It's just they, they changed the way they, they grade them, I guess. I'm not really sure. They tried to explain it, but didn't make much sense to me. <laughs> And there we go. So let it submit and see what we got. If it doesn't crash, there we go. <laughs> okay, we're running 1429 on a productivity index, and we're running 1681, 1681 on the game index which is not as good as a zoom as you can see which that's a zoom overclocked to 1.5 that's a zoom clocked at standard which is what I run my zoom at Let's sort by average I have noticed Smartbench 2011 seems to be quite a bit slower than 2010 was but I guess they put a lot more into the program right, it looks like it sorted this in the same order but as you can see it's above, at least on the productivity index, it's above the Galaxy S overclocked to 1.3 and 1.4. Uh, gaming index is slightly under. So, no big deal. I like Quadrant anyways. Ignore that if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, I'm going to write FPS 2D now to uh, give us a frames per second. Should be somewhere between 57 and 59. It usually doesn't run that much difference. But uh, the thing is, you notice no drop-off over here. 
because some of the ROMs I've been running on my HD2 seem to do very well, but they were also dropping a lot of frames. 57, it's about standard. I didn't look for anything extraordinary there. Okay, next we're going to run Ninamark, which is another graphic uh, or GPU. Now that score, 34.7, should have been the last one that I got a release candidate of uh, 2 because I don't run this on my phone standard much and I restored this from titanium so should remember that and we're almost at the end here Forty-six point nine. That's pretty impressive. It's actually better than I expected. It does look like my benchmark scores have come up since release candidate two, which reading through. All right, we're gonna run NeoCore next. Which uh, NeoCore is a Qualcomm GPU. It's made for the Adreno GPU that comes with uh, with a uh, Snapdragon chips or Qualcomm chips. So let's run it. But uh, as I was saying, reading through. It seemed like Cyanogen oops, seemed like Cyanogen knew there were some quite a few errors in that version and release candidate two. Seems like they did a lot of work on those in the nightlies. Uh, I don't run nightlies on my phone because this phone is my daily driver. I know some people wonder why I haven't made any videos on those. I wait for the release candidates and final releases because this is my daily driver. I don't want really buggy software on here. Uh, my HD2 is for testing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to run this ROM for the next few days and do an overview, but no guarantees because if it turns out buggy, I'm not going to do it. I need this phone to be stable. Uh, I did notice when I first booted this, I had some trouble with Wi-Fi. It kept sending me into a boot loop. 57.9 fr uh, frames per second. It's a really nice score, but as I was saying, when I installed the Wi-Fi, I did have trouble with it again. It did send me into a boot loop, and I had to manually restart my phone, like make sure I restarted it, not just let it go into a boot loop. And then it settled out and worked fine, which is better than the last time because I spent a few hours trying to get the Wi-Fi to work on the last install. So this has been a video of Cyanogen Mod 7 Release Candidate 3, and it's running pretty stable, seems pretty nice. I'm going to try to give it a try for a few days and give you guys an overview. It's really close to the final release, so I imagine this one works pretty good and it's pretty stable. Uh, watch out for my next video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.